So, let me go through my checklist before I start this commentary. Material? Check. Script? Check. Curry Yuri for my avatar? Check. Alrighty then, I think I'm actually all set for the- Oh, frick. Hold up. Hello? Oh, hey, Manga Common. How's it going? Wait, you want me to do what now? And you want me to do that now? He just hung up on me. And I never got the chance to tell him yes. God damn it! guys, my name is A363MTR here to kick some ass because I got your back and I welcome you guys to Magna Commons Guest Week or welcome back or something. I actually don't know what the hell is going to happen. This one was recorded before the Guest Week because reasons. And for those of you who haven't really heard of me, I'm a commentator within the commentary community. I mainly covered topics such as LGBT rants, Western animation, and other commentaries. And... That's actually all I really post on my channel as of right now. I plan on expanding my channel soon once I have some other projects done. I will probably make an update video when I got done with some of those projects or whatnot. And, spoilers, I'm planning on doing some reviews sometime soon, so keep an eye out for that one for anyone who's interested. So, there's always going to be some drama within the YouTube community, and of course the commentary community is no exception. One of these recent dramas is from a user that goes by the name of the Russian quail. For those of you who don't know, which I would assume most of you guys wouldn't, I don't really know as to what exactly started with him and another user by the name of MiningBip3, but it led towards the Russian quail forcing other people such as RayRules96 and the Slayer of Demons 99 to take down their videos on him just so that his quote-unquote reputation isn't ruined or else he'll reveal MiningBip3's private secret. Unfortunately, Quell decided to be a complete dick about it by making a video about how Miney Bip was suicidal. Some people are speculating that he's a troll, but to me personally, I think that Quell here is a complete cyberbully, and I honestly still surprised that he still has an account here on YouTube after when he promoted censorship as well as harassing Miney Bip. That said, I will not be covering him, but someone else who actually covered him that involves the same drama that I've explained to you guys before. This guy is Boon Slayer's long lost cousin named Slayer Coon. He did a double feature commentary in both of Quell's videos, one of which I've already told you guys a few minutes ago. Since this is a double feature commentary, keep in mind that there will be two degrees within the video. You guys will actually understand as to why I have two degrees within the video. For now, this is the first part of the degrees, and with all of that being said, let's take a look. Hello guys, Slayer Coon here, and before I get into this next episode of Slayer Commentary, I'd like to thank the Xanda Bear for this beautiful piece of artwork. It looks amazing. You can draw way better than I could ever imagine it. I've noticed something throughout most of your content here, but it sounds like as if your voice seems kind of whispery. You planning on doing a whispery theory? Maybe try to either emote better, speak louder, and or wait until your parents are out of the house so that you can record properly. So, there's been this literal scumbag on YouTube known as the Russian Quail. And well... Oh my. What do I even have to say about this person? He claims that suicidal people are attention whores calls mining BIP3 a suicidal fag, and is probably one of the worst people I've ever encountered on the internet. So, I'm about to slay you. Prepare yourself. Oh hey guys, I'm incorporating my edgy catchphrase. ROLL THE CREDITS! <laughs> You know whenever you use a yellow crayon on a white piece of paper and you can barely see it? Well, I don't think that yellow text is the best kind of text if you're going to do a text commentary. Eh, I mean, he can use yellow and it could work. He just needs to outline the text if he wants to do a text commentary. Also, what kind of text would make it work? You don't really say as to what really would fit the color here so that it could be better for him. Finally, this might be nitpicky for me, but you could also... I don't know actually read the text displayed on the screen too. I mean, it could actually be easier for your audience to actually not read the text displayed on the screen so that they don't have to do the hard work themselves, especially with the choice of color here. Fine. 
I guess I'll read what Quell typed up here then. Mining rape is suicidal and has mentioned attempting suicide before, thus proving he's an attention whore and I am better than this fag. But all that aside, you claim that someone mentioning attempting suicide makes him an attention whore? You are a fucking piece of shit, my friend. Gonna call him a piece of shit and not explain as to why Krull's point is you? Okay, I just sometimes love that burden of not trying to debunk a point properly. Also, for this next point, I want to bring up a story from a few months ago from a user by the name of Logan Fernier. From what I can gather and dig some stuff back up, he got into a fight with one of the commentators over a singular word, and one person and another person blocked him. He decided to make a small video, and after some more unrelated drama, that got attention to Bork Productions to make a rant video on him. And this literally caused Logan to actually say that he wanted to commit suicide in the comment section, even though that seems like as if he wanted to do it for cry of attention, especially since he's still aligned to this fan in D&D. This is also prevalent to the fact that he stated plenty of times that he wanted to commit self-harm just to keep two people as friends. I bring this story up because you can bring things such as suicide and being an attention whore even just to get what you wanted. I'm not saying that it happens all the time, but there are cases where they do happen. No. Hold it! Look, you only really played like half a second of Quirrell's point, and you don't really let the audience read the text. If you're not even gonna read the text that's displayed on the screen, then at least have enough time for your audience to read the full thing so that they can get some context here. That way too, they don't have to try and pause the video just to read it. Be grateful I didn't show them your account from the website, which you refilled on the video, and I was able to find information on it. Now your reputation is ruined. No, I think your reputation is ruined. Forever. So basically, a no you argument. For those of you who aren't aware, a no you argument happens when someone doesn't really make a valid point other than, well, no you. This was originally coined by Master TP10. By that info alone, I want to thank you for wasting a part of my life by pointlessly interject the video, you plap. Now without further ado, let's get into his even worse video. This guy can't slay me. Wait a minute. So you're saying mining bit three having suicidal thoughts means that he's an attention whore? No shit! Jesus Christ, Russian Quail. Do you have any idea of what suicide is? It's not a cry for attention. It's a cry for help. Believe me, I've been there. I've had suicidal thoughts for the past two years, and I've and thankfully I haven't gone through with them, but as a person who suffers from depression, it could happen any time. And you are just making it worse for this person. Yes, I would like to appeal for a motion for 500, Alex. But seriously, I think what he meant by no shit was him staying- Well, duh, that's what I've said. You don't have to repeat it, Mr. Captain Obvious. If that's generally the case, then this is a sign of him making a 7 second interjection just to make a pointless statement here. I understand that you only make like two words that were fag in meeting, but that's why I've came across here. Also, context please? The both of you here don't even elaborate as to who this guy here is whatsoever. Fine, I guess I'll have to do some more legwork here. So after when the Russian Krill made a video exposing Mining Bib 3, the Slayer of Demons 99 decided to make a one-shot on him. This resulted in Krill making the commentary with the Warrior Avatar displayed here. Oh, and here's the second part of the degrees. You're welcome. There, some explanation was given. Now can the both of you please stay as to who is involved next time? K thanks! Wow. Just wow. Just because he has suicidal thoughts, doesn't mean he's an attention whore. Care to explain? Look at Otto Magic Critic, for example. He had suicidal thoughts, and we were supportive to him. You only gave me an example of a person who was suicidal. Not a reason as to why he's an attention whore. I can barely make out what the text says, but you claim that we're not giving you a good example because we only gave one. Bitch, please. Suicide is a serious issue. I hope you're proud of yourself. He was saying that he wants an actual reason as to why just because Mining Bib 3 is having suicidal thoughts, that doesn't mean that he's an attention whore. In other words, he's stating that the example that was given wasn't relevant because demons over here didn't give out the exact reason as to why it shouldn't be come off as him being an attention whore. Because of this, the rest of this point here... <laughs>
is completely moot. Now, to me personally, I don't personally know who Mining Bip3 is, so I'm not 100% sure, but considering the fact that he and a couple of others were trying to comply with Quell's demands until he released the information, I think this might actually be 100% true. That's like saying abortion is murder because another baby was aborted. The two statements do not show any connection, you fucking moron. Are you really bringing up abortion in a video about suicidal thoughts? Are you fucking kidding me? And that was his point. And that was his point. And that was his- GOD LEFT ME on. Also, I love for the fact that he completely missed a point to debunk, or stating a claim and giving an example is not relevant to stating another claim because insert some twisted reasoning here. In other words, it's an apples to oranges comparison. Seriously, your main priority was with the abortion for some weird reason, and you don't even try to argue something that was actually right underneath your nose. And also, I think you just ruined your own reputation after you blackmailed several users about this, including myself. First, mining bip3 and others encourage people to hate me. They ruined my reputation. I hate to say this again, but no, you ruined your own reputation by being a fucking asshole. Okay, seriously, what's with the random audio spikes? Couldn't you really try to actually clean this up better? I mean, what you could maybe done is to make a screenshot of Quell's video, download Demon's video, and just combine it from there. Or better yet, be more precise with your editing. Also, this is a case of literally repeating the same thing that the other degree said without adding anything new to the table or even strengthening your points whatsoever. Which, by the way, another no you argument. Yay! Master TP10 will be expecting you to pay a hundred dollar fine. Quell, do yourself a favor and get off the internet. You're a hypocrite trying to get me off the internet when you say I blackmail others. I don't see anything hypocritical about that. You are a waste of space on the internet. You're a psychopathic piece of shit who knows jack shit about suicide and doesn't want to do any research about suicide before spewing shit out of their mouth. Holy crap! Ad hominem attacks! Look, the thing that Quell did was absolutely shit, but that doesn't mean that you should go out your way by calling him a waste of space and a psychopathic piece of shit. It just makes you a complete dick about the situation. The rest of the video was him quote unquote giving his final thoughts, and what I mean by that is that he doesn't have any actual final thoughts, but instead plays a clip of Idubs editing a bit about his rant on Keemstar where he said, Kill yourself. Though, I want to point out one more thing here. Oh, you ruined my career. Russian Quail. Good fucking luck. Mmm, yes, that dubbing was a masterpiece. I rate 4.5 out of 5 stars. This should give yourself an Oscar. Now, Slayer Coon, I'm not saying that you should leave the CC or anything else along lines like that because that that's pretty hypocritical for me. What I am saying, however, is for you to get good. For starters, what you could do is to be more loud in your videos and be more enthusiastic. Another thing too for you is to actually try to expand your points or else they would either come off as a no you argument or a pointless interjection at times. I would also suggest that you could show off your script to certain people so that they can have input on your projects and point out certain flaws before you continue on within your work. Finally, add in some entertainment value within your video and make sure that you do it right. Look, I've seen people from the lesser side of the commentary community such as the Slayer of Demons 99, Ray Rules 96, SF9, NeanTuber, and Nick Brisket that either use little to no joke slash entertainment in their commentary videos, or they do, but they're just really genetic joke slash media clips with this being as an example. Cancer. I have seen some of your other content, Slayer Coon, and I hate to say this, but you do fit into this category. You do need to understand that commentaries are not only meant to be informal, but also entertaining. Otherwise, not a lot of people will be engaging on your content if you do plan on wanting to be more well-known. I'm not saying that you should be snarky. If you don't want to do it, then I can completely understand. But go by either cracking a few jokes here or there, or try to be over the top. If you guys like my work, then consider looking at my channel. I basically have like 18 full commentaries on my channel for you guys to enjoy. If you have any issues within this commentary, then leave it down in the comments below, or you may have my permission to do a commentary on this video. For now, my name is A363MTR, saying have a wonderful journey through the depths of space and time, but until then, I'm signing out. Uh, hey.
my name is George Raccoon, and I just want to say, Slayer Coon, I disown you. <laughs>